sure I'm not alone in actually hating the way wallets like this stand out and bulge in your pocket. That's why today I'm gonna to show you how to downsize from a classic bulky wallet like this to a minimal wallet like one of these two. And thanks to Boncube for providing two versions of their minimal wallet for me to test and review. And stay to the end and I'll show you which one of these I'll be adding to my everyday carry. Before we have a look at these Punky wallets, you might be wondering why you should do this. What are the benefits of having minimal wallets like these? So wallets like these are going to help you save space in your pocket and avoid my greatest bugbear, having that bulge that the classic wallet creates. I bet in your wallet now you've got loads of store cards that you've not used for years that may have even expired. Why are they in there? A minimal wallet is going to allow you to organize your cards and cash better, meaning that you're going to be able to carry what you need. And because of that natural smaller profile of the minimal wallet, there's going to be a reduced risk of losing your wallet and most importantly having it stolen since it's going to be easier to keep track of and harder for others to notice it. Think of a wallet like this as a sort of fashion statement sort of item. The majority of people pull out their old bulky wallets but because you've enhanced your style you're pulling out a more modern sophisticated wallet that's different from the rest so why not upgrade to one of these. Punkube have sent me two of their wallets for me to show you they're a slim wallet and their minimal wallet 3.0 so let's look at the slim wallet first. This one with its profile just slightly bigger than a credit card but obviously thicker is made out of a premium black leather with the card holder words embossed on one side and then this matte finish with the Punk Cube logo visible on the other side with stitching finished all over on both sides. It feels nice in the hand and when it's full, there's still that noticeable difference in weight compared to a heavier standard wallet. On the back, easy access slots for your two most used cards. So you might put your driving license and a credit card in there or whatever combination of essential cards you prefer. And on the other side, space for up to another five to seven cards. Although if you are downsizing to one of these, then you might not want to use up the full capacity and instead choose a few less used cards for this slot. Even at full capacity, all of the cards are easily accessible. And you can also see on this side there is a storage pocket that could be used mainly for coins, maybe a few cash notes, and even possibly an air tag that you could pop inside the pocket, which slightly expands as its contents increase. And if you do lose your wallet, and I'm assuming you've got an air tag, then that probably means you've got an iPhone, then you'll be able to track the location of your missing wallet. We live in the age of contactless transactions where all we need to do is pass our payment cards over payment machines for our money to be simply paid. Some people are rightly concerned that someone could use a device to read their cards without their knowledge and potentially steal their personal information or money. This wallet features RFID blocking technology that is going to prevent the cards in this wallet from being scanned by unauthorized devices. By blocking those radio waves that power and communicate with those RFID chips in your cards, thus protecting your cards from this kind of attack and hopefully giving you a peace of mind about the safety of your own data and finances. If we just compare the profile of this wallet at full capacity to my old wallet which actually has the same amount of cards and cash in it currently and add the benefits that come with that RFID blocking then why not upgrade to something as slick and sophisticated as this. Now let's look at the other Punk Cube wallet. This is their Minimal Wallet 3.0 which comes in three sets. Standard Wallet 3.0 the EDC set, which is this one, and the family set, all of which I'll talk about in a moment. If you wanted to go for an even more minimal EDC wallet compared to this wallet, then this wallet could be the one for you. One of the differences between these two is that this one only holds cards on the one side. So the matte side of both is exactly the same, space for your cards, that storage pocket for your coins and even your air tag. This wallet comes in two parts and what you do with those two parts is entirely up to you. You'll notice on the reverse side of the card section there is a blank space that conveniently is the same size as this other plastic section. This is the part that differentiates itself from the other wallet because this section serves as a multifunctional item which houses a multifunctional tool. Inside this easily accessible housing, you'll find a 20-in-1 multi-tool, useful as a screwdriver, box opener, pill splitter, wrench, bottle opener, lotto ticket scratcher, wire stripper, amongst other things. So basically useful for a lot of things. The housing has a top and bottom compartment, and together with the multi-tool, it can fit two keys. The multi-tool in one section and the two keys in another. The only drawback to this section is that the keys that do fit inside cannot have those plastic identifier covers over the top, otherwise they won't fit. If you were to decide not to have the multi-tool within this, then there is space now for three keys. 
Now there is a pun cube branded silicon band that goes around the key holder that will enable you to store any loose cash notes that you may have. If we turn this plastic section around and remove these two protective strips, then this section, if attached to the back of your phone, becomes a phone stand, allowing you to stand your phone in either portrait or landscape orientation when the housing apartment or compartments, if it's in landscape mode, are open. I've got it attached on an iPhone 15 Pro here, and it seems sturdy enough with a phone that weighs 187 grams, but just remember if you are attaching it to your phone permanently, then you're not going to be able to wirelessly charge your phone unless it's attached to a case, and you're happy enough to remove it, your phone from the case each time you want to wirelessly charge it. Obviously, not an issue if you charge it via a wire. And if you do attach this to the back of your phone, and you're wondering whether it's gonna leave that horrible sticky stuff on your phone, then you won't have to worry because it is made from that residue-free adhesive. Remember earlier when I said that this wallet comes in three sets. The first set, the Wallet 3.0 standard set, comes with everything here except the multi-tool. The everyday carry set, which I've got here, comes with that multi-tool. And the family set, that comes with everything and the additional five adhesive pads. So if you're constantly changing what section this is attached to, then it will become useful when the adhesiveness of the pads naturally begins to fade. And four additional silicon bands, just in case one breaks because you're carrying too much cash. While I like the multi-tool option, I think that most people who choose this wallet in particular will be perfectly fine with the standard 3.0 with both sections of the wallet bonded together. If you prefer this type of one, just let me know in the comments which set you would choose. And just like the Slim wallet, this wallet also has the RFID blocking technology built in. Both of these wallets are functional items that will make a difference if you're used to carrying essentially a brick in your pocket. Does seeing these minimal wallets entice you into possibly transferring your essentials from your classic bulky heavy wallet to wallets like these? How would you use your minimal wallet effectively? Do you think something like this is gonna add that sophisticated look and feel to your everyday carry essentials? If so, why not make the switch? I'll leave the links to both of these wallets in the description below. And thanks to Punkube for providing these for me to test and review it's greatly appreciated out of the two of these minimal wallets i think i'm definitely going to be switching to this one which i've already been doing for the last couple of days i decided against this wallet to go for as my everyday carry because i've got too many keys on my bunch to consolidate down to two or three and my similar looking keys have differently colored tops on them so i know which one opens which door and so it wouldn't fit in the key holder and i prefer having that access to my two most used cards available on this side. If you've got any questions about any of these wallets that I haven't mentioned so far in this video, just note them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, press the like button. If you like this video, subscribe. If you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.